What is up everyone? So recently a lot of people have been asking me if I still do Smash Ultimate Sessions and yes, actually I still do and I never stopped. I've been doing it now for roughly 4 years. Any player level is welcome. I've had tons of sessions with people who literally got Smash one week before their session. Obviously I've also had a ton of mid-level players, high-level players, and even top-level players that you currently see in tournament. Most of which probably want to remain nameless. Either way, they all get much better with each session. There's been a ton of students who couldn't win a single game in tournament, and now they're either winning their locals or consistently making top 3. And if you want to book one or just generally get more information about the session, then you can click the Discord link below, join it, and private message me. Also, sessions are also streamed to allow you to re-watch your session on Twitch. Unless you don't really want it to be streamed, which is fine, it doesn't have to be. Anyways, during the stream, I mention everything that you do, don't do, could do better or differently, and we'll also talk about it right after. As well as I'll teach you anything that you need to learn at your current level, I'll answer any question, and I'll give you a plan for what to work on and how. Also, usually high to top level players don't usually fight me for best of 5, instead what they do is that they bring me VODs to review, and that way I guess it's more relevant to them because they learn how to beat what they need to beat in the current moment. Anyways, feel free to hit me up on Discord and enjoy the video. Douglas J. Falcon is the essence of speed, explosive combos, and electrifying manly power, ultimately creating hype and destruction. He moves around like a race car ready to open up on you at any time, gliding in and out of the opponent's range while also anti-airing you and pressuring you with aerials. And because of Falcon's ability to suddenly explode on you, you'll need to start keeping up with him and think fast. His neutral is heavily revolved around whiff punishing and pressuring the opponent with both aerials, movement, and positioning. Falcon's speed allows him to be a threat further away distance-wise than almost any other character, having a variety of burst options and quick anti-airs that can start potent combos and kill. And of course, he's also able to simply choose to approach and space around with safe pressure to bait and punish. Being able to effectively rush down your opponent is a privilege that many characters don't have. Rushdown is purely about making the opponent feel rushed, to make them feel like they have to pace themselves with you in terms of their own commitments. Then it's all about breaking your own pace as Falcon and punish all the impulsive stress-induced commitments as they are already trying to keep up with you. His mentality and design stays true to even his advantage state and edge guarding as his combos can be extremely threatening to a point where the opponent will constantly be seeking a way to get out and survive, which Falcon can be equally as good at punishing and potentially killing you for it if he knows how you want to try surviving. This means that knowing when to stand, walk, or wait during his advantage state can be equally as important. Ultimately, Falcon plays purely on countering the opponent's neutral and intentions. If he knows what you want to do and calls you out correctly, he'll typically get the right hit in to start his explosive of advantage state. Falcon will typically want to be at this position distance-wise to the opponent to be a threat with his burst options, and then weave out and in of this position, not just to avoid getting hit and with punish, but also stressing the opponent out and not just making them question which option he might go for, but when. Once he's in that burst option range, the possibility of dash attack, raptor boost, or neutral air can condition shields, jumps, and rolls. In which case, you either dash grab, anti-air their short hop with neutral air or back air, or anti-air their full hop with full hop neutral air for low percent combos, short hop up air for mid percent combos, or back air for kills. And of course, if you don't want to anti-air jumps, you could also try to simply catch landings. Additional options such as dash jab or dash forward tilt can also be lower commitments with lower reward for the same purposes. Falcon Kick can also whiff punish and catch rolls away to try scoring kills. However, remember that only the beginning hit is strong as the rest of the move is much weaker. He can dash and up smash which in theory will only be safe against shield dashes into you, as if he does it against a standing shield he'll typically only hit the first hit which is unsafe. And so its intention is to mostly anti-air short hops and start a combo. As well as he can simply jump and land safely spaced back airs low on shield for simple pressure to bait and punish. In which case, he'll have four simple options right after. 
back air to shield and punish, back air to dash away for safe baiting and punishing, back air to full hop to avoid ground pressure and punish, or back air to a follow-up attack to stuff out the opponent's options and call them out. The same pressure could potentially also be done with aerials such as down air, landing up air, landing the first kick of neutral air, or the second kick of neutral air low on shield, in which case you could also potentially take a slight risk and add jabs for mix-up pressure, as jab 1 and 2 can be fairly hard to deal with. Keep in mind, however, that options such as dash attack, raptor boost, or falcon kick will typically not be safe against shield, even though they have to be reacted to really quickly to get punished. And if your intention of dash grabbing is too obvious and is avoided with spot dodge or full hop, then you'll also end up getting punished. In which case, you can always make the adjustments. And as many destructive combos as Falcon has, he's equally as easy to combo and mess up because of his disadvantage, making it an extremely volatile game. One of your most common aerials to approach and call out the opponent with will be neutral air, and it can be used in four different ways. You can short hop and buffer it towards them, which will anti-air short hops but can be unsafe against shield. You can full hop and neutral air to anti-air full hops. You can short hop and slightly delay the neutral air and fast fall so the second kick hits low, which is safe against shield. And you can also jump and try to land with the first kick only, which is safe against shield as long as you land it low. The short hop buffered neutral air will give you simple combos, such as grab, more neutral airs, into a finisher up air, or finish it off with back air and set up for an edge guard. The full hop neutral air will only start comboing around 20 to around 40 percentage. After that, you'll mostly want to anti air full hops with up air for better combos. The short hop delayed neutral air that hits low with the second kick will allow you to combo into dash grab, dash attack, and most importantly, raptor boost. Otherwise, it'll start setting up into tick chases at mid percent. The first hit of neutral air will combo into literally anything. And will even start easily setting up into kill confirms at higher percents. As well as things like neutral air, short hop slightly delayed up air, fast fall into a knee will allow you to kill even earlier. One fairly unique strength that Falcon has is that he can be exceptionally good at catching aggressive landings or beat certain ground options like tilts and jabs by simply raptor boosting with perfect timing. Raptor boost has a bit of a startup to it, but once he's moving towards you and detects a hurt box, he'll start his punch while gaining heavy armor at frame 1 to 5 to power through a bunch of weaker attacks. If you ended up trading or getting hit during the punch, then it was either off timing or the attack was too strong. There's also a possibility where the opponent will dash away, get past you, or jump away at the perfect timing as you detect them. But it's rare and not extremely punishable anyway. What is punishable is if there's nothing to detect and you miss completely. It can also be hard for a ton of characters to punish it on block, especially if their grab has low range or if they don't have a quick out of shield option. Anyway, hitting it will be an insanely potent combo starter for almost all the percents. The combos can be pretty precise and hard to execute, but it'll be well worth it. The opponent should normally be DIing this away to avoid getting comboed, in which case Falcon will mostly be limited to a quick dash neutral air combo that leaves the opponent off stage. If they DI in or don't DI at all, Falcon will get a crazy amount of combos. Especially if you short hop and super slightly delay the first aerial, as it doesn't have to be buffered, and it will guarantee for at least the second hit to always be true. You can also try to jump instantly double jump neutral air to be able to land with up air and combo even better. And if you're frame perfect with pressing jump, instant double jump and buffer knee with the double jump, you can connect the knee. This will work much easier on frame 4 air dodges, will be harder against frame 3 air dodges, and almost impossible against frame 2 air dodges, as well as it catches double jumps. It's also something that will only work at some very specific percents, which can also get affected by DI or Rage, meaning it can be very hard to get. If they try double jumping out of these combos, they might lose their jump and get even more messed up for it, or he'll just catch your landing and start up some more combos.
and air dodging will only be something that Falcon will most likely be frame trapping. Which is why most of Falcon's combo game is so scary as he can stay in the opponent's face and try to keep things going, while also including moments where he stops and makes reads against attempted escapes. On top of this, the combos that lead off stage will most likely create a rock paper scissors scenario, where Falcon can try punishing high recoveries with double jump back air, up air, or Falcon dives. Mid recoveries with back airs, knee, or raptor boost. And low recoveries with back air or down air which a lot of times can condition the opponent to air dodge or double jump early, as a lot of the time when Falcon's got his hands on the opponent, he'll be desperate to try surviving. If you end up grabbing the opponent, you'll mostly be going for down throw as it leads into either dash attack if they DI down and away, while any other DI will allow you to combo into up air or neutral air at starting percents till around 30%. After that percent, the best you can hope for is to down throw and dash up air to catch the eye away, as most attacks will be too slow and you might get lucky catching a double jump with an up air, as well as you can try frame trapping air dodges. If up air ends up catching their double jump, then Falcon will be able to threaten you with his up B for a potential 50-50. If you don't act quickly with an air dodge, he might grab you and kill you. And if you air dodge too early in fear, he might read it and punish it. So you'll have to try your best reacting to his up B. And generally, it's best to sometimes just accept his up airs without trying too hard to air dodge or double jump as after the combo is over, the risk for death will be very small. If they ever DI in in fear of getting forward thrown, then down throw would allow you to combo into up air or back air. You can also try to predict their DI away and double jump away and overshoot yourself to try hitting them either way. Up throw can also be a combo throw from 0 to 30% and will also let up air possibly catch a jump. Forward throw can give you a tech chase setup at starting percents as well if they DI down and away. So it can be used as a mix up. Then at higher percents it's to try launching opponents off stage and kill it. Same goes for back throw as it starts killing close to the ledge at high percents. Dash attack won't be the best combo starter, especially if they DI away. The only chance you'll ever get to combo with it is if you potentially hit the late sour spot of the move. Either way, you'll want to dash and up air almost each time as it can potentially steal a double jump or frame trap air dodges. However, because of how quick it is, it is unlikely that DI will always be a problem. And at 0 to roughly 15%, the strong hit of dash attack will basically be 2 frames away from true comboing anyway. Down air will be an amazing aerial for reading spot dodges and rolls to extend combos, as well as it's a great replacement for spot dodging to avoid grab attempts and punish the whiffed grabs. It can be safe against shield if landed low in a ton of matchups, and will be an extremely potent combo starter.
landing your back air will also provide a nice combo tree, where you can either dash grab, raptor boost, or forward tilt to set up for a tech chase and go for reads. The sweet spot will start setting up into tech chases at low to mid percents, while the long lasting sour spot will set up into tech chases at slightly higher percents. The knee will not be anything you'll typically use in neutral, however the shield damage and exceptional shield stun it provides can be a decent mix up to a rare shield break and it can even be a really good punish against spot dodges. Landing up air can also be a potent combo starter, but it's really hard to hit, so most of the time you'll be going for hitting your neutral air 1 anyway. At low percents, it will combo into jab, in which case it's typically best to triple jab by timing the A button 3 times, or by holding the A button, as it'll set up for tech chases, and even start killing at high percents close to the ledge, while the rapid jab will mostly just provide extra damage when there is no space for a tech chase launch to begin with. Start including platforms in the combo game will be even more destructive as now Falcon will be able to extend his combos way easier and even kill you earlier with the right setups. Falcon won't be having the greatest out of shield options. Unless they land right on top of his shield, then Falcon can almost always punish with footstool Falcon Kick out of shield. One unique quality about his up B out of shield is that it'll beat players landing with safe aerials on shield and blocking, as well as full hopping after the safe aerial, which is a great privilege. If they land an attack however, or land in spot dodge and it misses, it'll be pretty punishable, even though you can be pretty slippery in how you drift and mix up your landing. This move will also be amazing for corner pressure in combination with back airs, as Falcon can simply back air and dash away to avoid all characters out of shield options to punish them trying to challenge you, back air to dash away to punish them rolling in with any kind of read, or dash away and read their full hop into the middle stage with a full hop back air. And if they stay where they are, you could also try to jump back in with back airs, or because of the back air conditioning, choose to up B towards them and beat their shield and jump meaning it's only good if you're sure they won't be rolling or spot dodging. Otherwise you'll have down air and potentially down tilt as two frame options, or to punish ledge options and send opponents off stage really low and edge guard them. You could also potentially try to catch landings with it while low profiling, and in terms of tilts on shield, it's typically matchup dependent whether it's safe or not. Down smash will mainly be used for hard reads or at the ledge to punish predictable ledge options. And if slightly charged, the second hit will be safe against shield as well. And while forward smash is decent, it'll mostly be done after jab blocks. Falcon's disadvantage state is something that you'll have to somewhat accept being really harsh on you, and is why working on recovering with his up B with different drifts to clutch things out is super important. And if his recovery is ever predictable, it'll be easily stuffed out, or they'll end up getting grabbed on purpose only to tech jump and hard punish their recovery. This is also why it's important to recover extra low and then reverse the up B. Falcon Kick can also potentially be an option in disadvantage, since it can slightly escalate you upwards and let you stall for a second before coming down with a hit. Just keep in mind that it's heavily punishable if shielded or missed. Otherwise, Falcon Kick can be good at the corner after regular getup, specifically because Falcon will almost completely shift his hurt box away from the opponents before kicking. It can also be a mix-up while someone is off stage if you feel like it'll catch them off guard. One last thing to remember is that the aerial raptor boost when hit in the air can potentially spike opponents, and either way, once you hit the move, you'll be able to quickly act out of it. If you miss though, you'll fall to your death. It's not safe against shield, but it'll provide a lot of mobility for you to try drifting. And finally, we have Falcon Punch, which is the ultimate callout, and can be turned around during the punch for extra power. Thank you guys for watching. 
leave a comment down below to let me know what you thought about this video. Also lately, YouTube has not really been going as well as usual and the pay is extremely low and barely doable, so if you can, please help me out on Patreon as even one single dollar is gonna help much more than you think. And come by my Twitch if you ever want to see me live. I stream almost every day from 3pm to 9pm EST. Anyways, thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.